this video I'll explain to you what Instagram is all about and how you can use it for sewing inspiration. Instagram is all about beauty and pictures and people are showing what they are making on their homepage. You can follow people, you can follow certain teams or hashtags, things that interest you and they just appear in your feed and you get your daily dose of inspiration. You can like pictures, you can save them, you can tag somebody, you can comment on them, ask questions. Instagram has a younger audience than Facebook, for example, but that doesn't mean you cannot check out all the beautiful stuff that people are posting on Instagram. And I've discovered some people that are making incredible things and it really inspires me in my fabric choice, in pattern choices. The used fabric and uh, pattern details you can find in the description or in the hashtags. Instagram is a smartphone app, but you can also check out Instagram pages on your computer. And you don't even need an account to check out the public pages on Instagram. Of course, having your own account has some advantages. You can post pictures yourself. You can follow people who are putting great content online and you get your daily dose of inspiration automatically in your feed, just like you have in Facebook, for example. And creating an account is really easy and you just have to put one picture online and that's it, you can go ahead. If you want to understand Instagram, you have to understand hashtags. People are using hashtags uh, on every picture to get more engagement so other people can find their pictures. So beside the description, you can add tags and hashtags to explain what your picture is about. You can search through hashtags and you can fo even follow hashtags. So if you're following quilting fun, for example, then you get in your feed all the pictures that are tagged with quilting fun. And when you click on a hashtag, you go to the page that shows all the pictures that are tagged with the same hashtag. Like vintage sewing patterns, for example. Because I like this dress a lot, I'm going to check out her profile, her homepage, and scroll a little through her pictures. And to follow an hashtag or an account that you like, you just hit the follow button next to the name of that person or next to the hashtag. And on somebody's homepage, you can also find a little description about the account or the person. And this is also the only place where you can put a link to another website. Very often you will see below pictures link in bio, then you have to go to the home page, to the description, and there you can click on the link to their website. To save a picture that you like, you can use the little flag for a bookmark. You click on it, then you go to your home page and you go to saved. And this is your little private list of pictures that you saved. These are not the liked pictures. When you like a picture, you just hit the little heart button, but it isn't saved anywhere. And the last thing I want to show you are Instagram stories in your phone. They appear at the top and on the computer to the right. And these are like, uh, this is a feature that where you could share all the moments of your day. So not just the ones you want to keep on your profile. 
they appear in a kind of slideshow format. You can put music on it, you can put text on it, and well, they're temporary. So just tap on them and click if you want to move on. Well, that's all for this video. If you want more, please go to madamsaw.com to our sewing blog and there you can find a more detailed article about Instagram and sewing. Bye.